Hey everyone and welcome to today's mod video. Today I'm doing the tube transport mod with another slight mod on the side. It's called Morph. Basically the tube transport mod is currently in alpha and for you to go sideways you need to use the Morph mod to become a small one block high chicken etc to go through it. Um, but it is being worked on by this incredible guy Owls454. Um, right. Let's get straight into the mod. There's loads of cool stuff to show you and it is potentially one of my favourite mods just because of how well it works and they work as great elevators. Kind of like future armor crap where you get shot through stuff um, and there's some cool little features that you can do. Okay, the first thing you need to do is create the tube station. This is the thing that you go into and it shoots you off in whatever direction you've got it set to. So the tube, the tube station is fairly cheap to make. You just need regular stone with some stone slabs. And then the next thing you need to make is the transport tube. Now these things aren't too expensive because you get 16 of them and it just requires one ender pearl. So it's quite cheap and uh, not too difficult to make. It's quite an easy recipe as well. And because these things don't provide you with too much benefit, it's kind of like a lazy option if you want to go down to your mine and stuff, you can just shoot down there. Um, I don't think it's too OP. I think it's pretty, pretty well made, pretty fair. Okay, so once you get these things, Basically what happens is, depending on the direction you put them down, you can probably see it changing colour when I aim at different blocks. Can you see that? So if I aim at that one, it's green, that one's a different kind of green, that yellow, blue. And basically what happens is, if I go underneath a block, that is the down colour. If I want them to go up, this is the up colour. If I want them to go, I'm guessing this is north east, west, south, whatever, um, you'll notice the uh, colour changes, oh, okay, apparently I'm on a little trampoline there, um, that's something coming up in a minute guys, so as you can see, colour coordination has been added to make it a lot easier, however, sometimes you don't want to aim in the right direction, you're in kind of like a claustrophobic spot, and you, maybe you're building it from above, and you want sideways blocks, well, you can do that. What you do is you just put it in your inventory, just a regular transport tube, and it'll turn into a down one. If you want to turn that into an up one, you just put it back in, turns into an up one, and then that will become a north one, south one, east one, west one, and then it goes back to transport tube. So I'll just show you now. Uh, so we've got a north one here, okay? Now I'm looking at it from above, so technically it should be an up one. If I get this one, look, it'll be red, right? Well, if I use this one, it's always going to be a north, whatever direction I face. So that's a pretty li cool little feature that the uh, mod makers added in. Right, now to show you how these things work. Okay, so I first got my tube station here, and down tubes going down to my mine. So all you have to do is just walk straight in, and you will slowly go, well, I think it's quite fast and quite slow. Uh, it's probably the right amount of speed I'd say. And then you can just go in the up one as well. I've got an up one. And you basically see all the textures and stuff as you go up. It's not too quick. It's not too s slow. It is perfect. And as you can see you don't need a station at the top for it to uh, f for it to release you. You just pop out the top and that is perfect. Right, now to show you this section, okay, now I, I was playing around with this mod because I've had so much freaking fun with it since I loaded it up yesterday. Because um, I, I, I thought this mod, because it's an alpha and it's being worked on, I want to see if I can push it to its boundaries before features have been added. And I've done that. Okay, so what I did was, I put up ones, oh crap, that green thing might be in the way actually. Um, we'll have to dodge it, we're playing a bit of dropper here. Um, I put up ones and I was walking on them and I noticed I was bouncing. So what I wanted to try and do, like the video for the deadly stunts here, because I'm not sure if I'm going to survive or not. Um, what I'm going to do is, let, let's test it with an Oscar first. Okay, well that's uh, that's not a very good sign. Um, but, let's, let's give it a shot, let's give it a shot. Okay, and it works. And it works. It acts as a trampoline. As you can see, that item has actually gone beneath it, though. Um, so, actually, that's a good mob trap, then. You could use it as kind of a net where items go through. 
And so, so you've got a big hole where mobs fall into and the items drop through. That, that's another feature that you could ha possibly have. Right, okay. On to the next section. What I found out, I, I thought, hey, wouldn't it be cool if you could move the pipes with redstone? So say you want to go upwards, you can go up. But then, hang on a second, I want to go to my house in the north. You could change it so you go sideways and I'll show you how you do that basically uh, in, in fact you can even do it with the station look so as you can see I've moved the station the bottom block of the station and you can still use it even though it's one block high which is pretty cool so and, and you can you could you could delete this one it doesn't have to have the bottom one ex in existence at all it works with the top one alone it, it, it is freaking perfect and amazing and pretty cool. Right, now to show you the pipes. Okay. So the first thing I wanted to show you is that you can move both together, etc. I kind of showed you that j just now anyway. Um, so right, currently we've got an upwards one. Okay. And for the sideways ones, currently it doesn't work if you're in human form. He is planning to add it. Uh, this is a brand new mod. It's been out for like a week, so don't expect... Two, I mean, this is amazing as it is. So what I've done is I've installed the Morph mod by iChan. Both links are in the description below if you want to go try this for yourself. And basically what happens is when you kill a mob. So for example, if I kill... Uh, let's try and get a, a different coloured sheep. Oh, that little baby one. Where did he go? Okay, so if I kill kill the little baby sheep... Okay, that didn't work. Uh, there we go, a grey one. That should work. Basically, what happens is you kill it, and it sucks into you. And then, if you if you push the square bracket button, you've got this little uh, kind of scroller in the top left, which basically allows you to select... I'm going to have to kill all these guys in a minute. Select what you'd like to do and as you can see it's got that little icon because it gives you the abilities of the actual mob itself So chickens etc have the ability to um, Glide which is pretty cool and then all you do is you push enter and you will morph into the mob And as you can see my vision has got slightly darker around the edges, which is pretty cool um, And also I can now glide see that so I'm now a little chicken running round and killing Oscars with with my sword, which is pretty uh, pretty freaking awesome. What a what a what an awesome way to kill sheep as a chicken. Right now, the purpose of me changing into this was to show you sideways pipes. Okay, he does plan on having it for humans soon. Um, one little bug I did notice is if you go in because you're one block high, obviously you don't get sucked up. It only works on the top block, so you have to jump. But one little bug I did notice if you're in chicken form. You can't actually go into a station at the top. If you're in human form, you can. Um, so that was just a little uh, little thing that I found. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to take the outwards ones up and we're going to put in the sideways ones. So I've just pushed in a sideways one there. I'm really crap at redstone, so uh, don't blame me for my awful redstone. Uh, so if we transform into the chicken again, this is what it looks like when you're actually in first person. And we jump. Can you see that? You get pushed along sideways, uh, which is pretty cool. And I, and I wasn't walking there. I wasn't walking. Um, so the next thing I wanted to show you was the stations. You can actually put them down sideways. As you can see, I've got it down sideways. And I think his intention is uh, you, you fall into it and then you get shot off sideways eventually. Um, now, when you try and put these down, they're always stood up. The way I managed to figure out how to make them lie down is similar to stairs. You need a block there, and you just hit the bottom of the block, and it will uh, lie down. In fact, can you hit the top of the block? Yeah, you can. So as long as you as long as you got you're aiming at the side of a block, it works. Um, I haven't tried it upside down though, um, so maybe we can quickly try that for the purpose of the uh, for the purpose of the video. No, it doesn't seem to work. Right. Okay, now, one thing I did want to try was an underwater ones. Because I thought, oh, that would be pretty cool if you're being sucked through underwater. Is it waterproof and all that kind of stuff? How does it look? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change into my chicken form. Uh, here we go, chicken. 
So that, that's the morph mod, guys. So if you want to try going through sideways currently, uh, you have to use the morph mod. But it's, it, it's so much fun. So as you can see, we go, we go down. Then you get automatically pushed along. I'm not actually walking here. And we'll go through it again because we didn't actually look at the water there. So if we... Wow, chickens are freaking fast. So if you if you have uh, a different direction tube, as uh, as you saw there, it will just go in that direction, which is pretty neat. You don't need any connectors or stuff like that. And you can even uh, put different mobs in. So as you can see there. If I should come over here, I'll show you here because this works really well. So if we change that back. In fact, no, let's have, to, let's have them go sideways. Here we go. So, chickens. There we go. So, mobs do go through it. And it works really nicely. Um, and I think... I think if you put an Oscar in there... Yeah, unfortunately, Oscar is too fat. Um, too, too, too broad to uh, get in, unfortunately. Although, baby Oscar... Worked perfectly, so that that's all cool. Um, right, okay. I did also try putting items down them, and I managed to get an item down once. Um, however, it disappeared, so I'm not sure if uh, you're meant to put throw items down. I'm guessing you're not. Um, but it, either way, maybe it's a feature that could be added. Right, uh, what guy? What features? Can you guys think of any features you'd like added? Um, I came up with a few. I thought perhaps there could be a speed booster block. So, for example, in the middle here, you could have a speed boost. So, as you're going around, it shoots you faster. Maybe even a break where it slows you down. Maybe if you speed yourself up, you can potentially kill yourself if you shoot into a station too quickly. So, you have to slow yourself down at the end. That'd be pretty cool. Um, a redstone activated tube. Maybe if you... Uh, had one that activates redstone as you go through it or if a mob goes through it etc um, a turning station I thought it'd be pretty cool if if you got into one of these I don't want to get into one because uh, we'll get we'll get into this one and you, you kind of go in maybe a door closes and then it turns turns like that so you're in there and it lays down and then you're lying down in it with the, with a glass window, maybe water comes over you. I'm getting too advanced here, and then it shoots you through. You could have water come in though if you uh, redstone activated it. That'd be pretty cool. Um, and then you get shot off like like a freaking torpedo under the water. I also thought about maybe a capsule. So for example, at a station, maybe there's a little box or something where you put items into it, and then you can shoot it off, and the capsule full of the items get shot through the pipes and uh, reaches the other end maybe your friend is in the mines and he asks for a new pickaxe and he can then take it out that'd be pretty cool and maybe also capsule collectors so say for example you've got um, items or things going through the tube there's a little detector and say you can select what item you want it to detect I want it to detect diamonds and if diamonds go through it sucks the diamonds out and shoots them down another pipe, perhaps into a chest. So then you could have sorting, sorting pipes, etc. Um, or uh, your valuable items could go to a particular chest room. And it, it could be pretty cool for items and stuff as well. Um, right. I also thought perhaps, because obviously you can, uh, you can do this. And you get you get sucked in, obviously. I thought, what happens if you go, no chicken, no, no, KFC. I'm mean, going to have plenty of KFC later. I thought, what happens if you go underneath it in a cart? So let's try that. Let's get rid of all of this. Grab my cart. I thought, wouldn't it be cool if you go underneath that? So I just put the little piston there. And it sucked you out of the cart and up into the tube. So let's give it a try. It didn't work, um, however, maybe it could be added as a feature. I'm not sure, perhaps when you get in carts, you change, like, your body and entity changes, I'm not sure. But that would be pretty cool, if you could change the suction of the station, perhaps. So, maybe it sucks in things that get near it. Maybe, maybe instead of, maybe you have the station, but then you also have a separate block. So, if you don't want a station, you want, like, a hoover suction. You could have like a hoover suction there with no station at all. And it just sucks in 
everything in a radius. That would be that would be pretty cool. But anyway, I hope you have enjoyed this mod. I've got to say it's one of my favourites, and I can't wait to see what happens to it next when it next gets updated and stuff. I'm definitely going to be checking it out on a weekly, maybe monthly basis. Um, but if you have watched this far, be sure to comment that in the comment section below to let me know that you have, and then I'll know who all the awesome people are who have watched all the way through the epic, the epic legendary people. Um, oh my god, I'm having KFC in my. I have KFC in my face, and uh, if you have come up with any cool features or things that you've tried, go download it and try it for yourself, it's so much fun, the trampolines and stuff, then comment below what you'd like to see added, or any cool things that you um, think would be cool to try. Um, and I hope you have enjoyed this video, huge thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys all next time.